Good evening. Welcome to Tucker Millette News about Tucker Millette. I'm Tucker Millette here at Tucker Millette's Top Stories. On Monday, I received word from the Chicago Froyo Cafe that they didn't like the application I sent in, stating, quote, Unfortunately, we're looking for someone with a little more food service experience. My publicist, Tucker Millette, released a statement today saying, quote, F*** you. Do I really need previous food service experience to put that dysentery milk you call yogurt into a cup? A monkey with Parkinson's could do this job, but I need to pay rent. F*** you, you ice cream wannabe pieces of shit. So if you're in the Chicago area, don't visit Chicago Froyo Cafe because their ice cream tastes like, quote, dysentery milk, whatever that means. On Tuesday, I performed stand-up comedy at the Public House Theater in Chicago for free, and some people laughed. Some. Now for sports, we go over to our sports anchor, Tucker Millette. Tucker, thank you, Tucker. It was announced this week that my little brother, Ethan Millette, 14, of Hudson, Wisconsin, has made the B team for Hudson 15U hockey program. Ethan, I want to take this moment to say congratulations, and that if you work hard and strive for your goals, you too can be slightly above average athletically. Back to you. Thank you, Tucker. More startling news this week is my mother, Angie Millette, 53, of Hudson, called to say that my life in my hometown was, quote, you know, same old, same old. This has been impressively the 12th consecutive phone conversation between my mother and I where nothing was accomplished. According to a USA Today article, President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama celebrated their 22nd wedding anniversary a day late due to scheduling conflicts. I too had plans on the President's anniversary. I took three sleeping pills and watched The Emperor's New Groove on Netflix. But I'm sure the Obamas had important things to do too. On Sunday, my I read an article my aunt posted on Facebook of 15 waking up hacks for every non-morning person. On Monday, I woke up at noon and unfriended my aunt on Facebook. Sad news from my apartment today, I lost my keys for the third time in two weeks. For more now, we go to Tucker Millette in the field. Tucker, are you there? Tucker, are you there? Can you hear me? I don't think he can hear me. Tucker, are you there? Am I coming through? Yes, Tucker, I can hear you the whole time. I just like to push your buttons. Ah, <laughs> uh, you son of a bitch. Consider him pushed. Ah, uh, yeah. But this key thing is no laughing matter. Give us more details, Tucker. What's going on down there? Well, Tucker, it does not look good. I can't believe I lost those damn keys again. Well, where'd you have Do them Do not lost? patronize me, Millette. I've looked everywhere. Easy, easy. I'm just trying to help. Did you look under the microwave? There is no under the microwave. As you can see, the microwave is suspended. Right. Did you check in the bathroom? Now, why would the key be in the bathroom? I, I don't know. Did you shower with it or something? Are you listening to yourself right now? Hey, I don't want any lip out of you, mister. Do you know why you keep losing your keys? It's probably on account of all the drugs I'm doing all the time. <laughs> Excuse me? Well, let's face it. I'm an unemployed comedian, so I just get high all the time to keep off the sadness. And the side effect of that is you lose your keys a lot? Yeah. Seems like a pretty fair trade-off, you ask me. Are you on drugs right now? Oh, of course. I'm on a news program talking to myself about myself. This is clearly an acid trip. But I'm also talking to myself on a news program about myself, and I'm not on drugs. Really? That is too bad. Oh, wait, you know what? Oh, the key! Is that key in your mouth the whole time? Yeah, I must have hallucinated that it was a piece of gum. Alright, well, anything else to report? My teeth hurt. Probably on account of all the keys you've been chewing on. We'll check in on you later, okay? Okay, Santa. Well, for all the voices in my head, that should do it for this week. Thank you, and good night.